Hey, it's uh 24 7 here. Um, it's been too long, I think. Yeah, too long counts. So what's been happening? Uh, why haven't we been posting? All that shit. Um, hey, there's really one answer. Um, we've been super busy. Um, Zach has a uh, Zach Nader actually has two videos ready. Um, I think one or yeah, I know for sure he has one. But there is a second one. I think he might have ready. But his Wi-Fi is so bad, he can barely post things. Um, but my excuse when I technically have more time is I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna barely have time. I'm gonna try. Um. So what's going on with my work is we're changing the schedule because we're declining numbers right now apparently because we just had a meeting today and everything about it. So what the deal is, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna be ch changing hours. We're gonna be work. I'm gonna be working a lot more than I usually do because usually I'll be working eight hours a day, mainly afternoon, like three to eleven. Uh, now we're gonna change that, and I'm being put in a situation where I'm working two to midnight, so now I'm working ten hours a day, and it's gonna be super exhausting because pretty much I get up at like eight thirty in the morning because I have to get at least eight hours of sleep then, eight if I can't if I can try at least, um, and then I have to get ready for work that entire time because I don't have time. I don't have fucking time right now. This isn't for kids, but this is just in like an uh, up to video, and I'm sick of making up to videos saying, "Hey, we're gonna keep posting." Um, good news is I'm gonna try to do reactions to backlash. I didn't know I said we were gonna do for WrestleMania and Fastlane, but honestly, okay, be honest, Fastlane. Don't care. Uh, it sucked. Didn't care. Don't fucking give a shit about Fastlane at all. It didn't matter to me. WrestleMania. Um, so that was the update, but honestly, right now, fuck it. Let's talk about WrestleMania. Good. Liked it. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. My biggest problem, um, I'm not gonna go into visual matches, just do a casual thoughts video about WrestleMania. Two nights was kind of a bother because I worked the Saturday, didn't work the Sunday. Um, we, I didn't watch the Sunday. Um, I mean, I... Sorry, didn't watch Saturday, so I intentionally was going to watch it on one big sitting because my sister, my brother, and my father came, and we watched WrestleMania. Loved it. We all agreed on... Uh, and I talked to Zack and Andrew about it, too. And the all the matches were good, but honestly, like, 60 or 70% of the match winners were kind of fucking stupid. Sheamus winning was bad, I think. It was a really stupid decision. He didn't need it. He doesn't need a U.S. title, like, at all. I mean, I get why. I heard why. Um, but still, it's stupid. At least let Riddle win at Mania and have him lose the next nine on Raw and do that. But my biggest fucking problem, and I get it, this is like the most controversial thing, personally, in my opinion. Controversial thing, in my opinion, to me. Roman Reigns was a shit idea. Though, no. I take that back. It's not the fact that Roman won that pissed me off. I'm okay with it. The fact that he fucking pinned both of them and made both of them look fucking weak. Where's Edge? Gone. Fucking Daniel Bryan, gone. So, what the fuck now? We were thinking, and I was talking with people, Zach and I about this for like an hour and a half after WrestleMania. And just thinking, what the fuck? Like, what are they gonna do with Roman now? He's being booked almost too strong, and I thought, you know what? This might be a reign of terror, to be honest, because who has Roman lost against? Be honest. Who has he lost against? He's lost literally, I don't think he's lost a single match since he got back from the company. Like, at all. They've been booking, booking him strong. And I will give him that. They're booking him strong. But just the fact that they're booking him almost too strong, I think. Now, that's just my opinion. I think they're booking him way too strong. When is he going to lose it at? I thought this WrestleMania was, like, the perfect time to pin him. And that's why you make triple threat matches. So the champion does not get fucking pinned. So he looks strong in defeat. He gets the title off him. He can win it back whenever. Edge has now won two fucking Royal Rumbles and lost both WrestleMania matches. The matches were both good. It's just... Whatever. I don't know. And Brian's gone, so that sucks. But whatever. Honestly, like, wrestling right now, it's not bad. New Japan, great. Love Will Ospreay. He, he's great. He's great at everything he does. Um, The belt's fine. 
Um, but honestly, like WWE Raw was terrible. Raw was legit awful. Hated it. It was bad. SmackDown might be good. That's later tonight. I'm filming this at like two, twelve in the morning. But like NXT's been good because why do we even have to say that NXT is good? We know NXT is good. It's going to be good. Um, fucking oh, uh, what's her face? Uh, John Morrison's wife. Um, Taya Valkyrie. She's coming to NXT. Great. Fine. Uh, Selena Vega. She might be coming back to WWE. Uh, why? They treated her like fucking shit. So no, I I'm not okay with that. If she wants to, that's fine. That's her decision. Don't fucking care. But yeah. But overall, back to WrestleMania. A lot of the match. Um. Honestly, I don't even know if we have any... There's, like, one or two of champions right now. And I, um... Yeah. Like, one or two. I think I can only think of Bianca Belair. Because Lashley's WWE champion. And they're kind of on Oh, yeah. Apollo winning was fucking stupid. Oh, my God. No. My biggest... Okay, back to my... Back to Roman. I... Okay. I'm gonna point this out now. I don't hate the Tribal Chief. I love it. It's great. Best thing Roman's ever done. My problem is Jay fucking Uso. And I'm sick of him. I'm so fucking sick of just heel champions not fucking winning by themselves. They can cheat to win. That's fine. Because they're heels. They're supposed to. But have them fucking win by themselves. You're making Roman look like this unfucking beatable monster heel, and you still have Jey Uso interfere in every single fucking match. It's ridiculous, and it bugs the shit out of me, and I feel like I'm the only fucking person who notices this shit. I'm so fucking sick of it. And I will go back and say this. Brock Lesnar did this fucking wonderfully. Because he was the heel champion who never needed fucking help to win. When he came back and was champion, he never needed help. He was just a fucking ass kicker who won by himself. By themselves. Like, tell, like a lot of times, um, when, when he'll go back to Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, sometimes he won with a little bit of help. But most of the, from what I remember, most of the time, he was the fucking guitar by himself. Yeah, he cheated to win, but he did it by himself. So there's no fucking reason that Roman cannot win by themselves if they're booking him this strong. Sorry, I ranted for a little bit, but yeah. Overall, I just like part night one of WrestleMania more than night two. It's just how I feel personally. All the, I think there wasn't a single bad match on this show, which is fucking saying something. Honestly, I think that's a really important for WrestleMania. Overall, if anything, if you want, if you do not care about results, like I do, I care, I care a lot about script and that kind of shit for my wrestling, because that just matters to me. The matches are fucking great. Go, for, if you just care about wrestling, this WrestleMania is going to be for you. It's fucking wonderful. Love it. But yeah, that's like an update video and a WrestleMania kind of review, or just feelings and thoughts. So... Any questions, guys, just leave in the comments. They're good for the algorithm, please. Um, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. This has been Dell, aka 24-7, and I'll see you guys next time.